Good afternoon and welcome to IPDAY's Webinar Wednesdays. Thank you for joining us today. Today we're going to dive into the wonderful world of Twitter. Keeping in the spirit of the Twitter character limit of 140, my introduction today will be very short and sweet. Hashtags, tweets, retweets, likes, handle, all that Twitterverse will be our conversation today and we are led by our adult educator, Twi Twitter guru, Jeff Arnott. He will guide us as we maximize our IPDATE Twitter feed. Jeff's gonna give us a look at various features that can make our IPDATE Twitter a unique social network tool, a place for all of us to share and converse about hot topics in adult education. Whether you're a Twitter veteran or new to Twitter, I'm sure together we'll find new ways to share and discover with Twitter. Remember, hashtag IPDAY. If you have any questions, please type them into the Q&A option at the top of your screen. All attendees' microphones will be muted. You will be in listen-only mode. And today's presentation is recorded and will be archived and available on the IPDA website within 48 hours. Jeff, I'm going to turn it over to you. Thank you, June. I'm really excited about being here today. Um, there's one thing that I did here in Brevard County that was that I thought that that I think is unique, and one thing that is special is that we do have a great social media presence. It only helps us recruit students, but it also helps us share the good information that we've done um, here in Brevard Adult Ed. And um, also, it's an, um, an opportunity for us to uh, you know share resources um, with staff and the community um, as we transform this program here. And uh, I want to do my part and help transform the state as well. And and I think uh, social media is the way to do it. And with IPDAY, and I'm very honored to be and humbled to uh, help you out today uh, with this project, is um, I think was, as, as IPDAY expands and IPDAY does more uh, professional development, it's a way that we can always uh, spread the news about what's happening throughout the states with uh, pictures, videos, and even live feeds, which we'll uh, touch, uh, touch on a little bit today as well. Um, this is a, a balance the presentation out with those folks who are really just checking out Twitter for the first time. So we will actually have the opportunity to build a page together. Um, so if you have a, a, the ability and another computer right there, it could be helpful as you see the presentation. And you can also see, I'm gonna go live onto the internet here toward the end and actually create a page um, for, um, you know, another uh, Twitter page so you can kind of see how easy it is. And also you'll be able to see how easy it is to navigate the page. And another tip and a big tip is once you get onto Twitter and once you sign up, I highly recommend that you go on there at least once a day, maybe a couple times a day, um, send a tweet, um, read the feeds, read the tweets, become intuitive with it. It is, um, like I said, it's a little different than Facebook and some of the other uh, social media outlets that are, that are just as valuable. Um, but um, but this is one I believe that uh, just takes a little bit more practice than uh, than the uh, than the other platforms. And I've already put the definition of or what Twitter is up here um, on the screen. And Twitter is an online social networking service that enables users to send and read short 140 character messages known as tweets. And a character also includes a space. So if you put like Jeffrey space are not that space actually does count as one of those characters um, that's also um, you need to know that as well oh my computer here we go registered users can read um, post and read tweets those not registered can only read them um, so if you're just a casual you know, want to just check out a tweet somebody is talking about in the news, you can actually read it, but you can't interact with it. You can't uh, reply to it. You can't like it. You can't retweet it. And of course, don't worry, we will go over those definitions of what all those mean. Also, just a little bit of history about Twitter. It is a fairly young baby. It was um, founded in 2006 by Jack Dorsey, Evan Williams, Biz Stone, and Noah Glass. It was launched on July 15, 2006. It just celebrated its 10th birthday. Right? There was all kinds of fun things on Twitter on that particular day. It's also headquartered in San Francisco, like many of the other social media outlets. And today there's over 310 million monthly active, notice the word active, users worldwide. Um, that's the equivalent of um, everybody in the United States, if you look at it from that perspective. It is a very large uh, platform to get your news out. 
there were over 340 million tweets a day. And uh, there was a statistic that I did read online that 40% of tweets are actually just blabber is how they described it, just random babble. Um, and however, you know, there is about 6% of the tweets out there that are done is pr to promote programs, including self-promoting of athletes, rock stars, politicians, um, the, and so forth. So it, it, there's a little bit of everything for everybody on Twitter. Also, it is the eighth most visited website in the world, if you look at it from including the mobile applications. Um, so it's right up there with Google and Facebook and the uh, ones that we're all very familiar with. And, of course, it's publicly traded. Um, very recently, it, became, um, it, it, was, it was traded on the New York Stock Exchange. And that's the reason why when we get into it, you'll see some promoted tweets and you'll see some stuff in the page that you go like, can I get rid of that? Well, I think we all agree that some of Twitter has to make money in order to have this particular service. So that's the reason why it's there. And, of course, Facebook's the same way. And there's the logo that everybody's very familiar with and is, is, is recognized throughout the world. What is a Twitter handle? <clears throat> when you use somebody else's Twitter handle in a tweet, you're addressing them publicly. So if you're wanting to uh, talk to General Motors and their Twitter handle is General Motors, you would put the at symbol in front of it. Um, so you're, the handle is the characters behind the at signs. So you'll see that in tweets and feeds on television. In fact, if you watch CNN and Fox News, if it's if you dare to these days, um, they they might have the reporter's name like Anderson Cooper, the at in front of it. That is actually his Twitter handle um, to actually engage with um, him on that. And athletes, CBS, you name it, they all have. Um, they, they want to promote themselves, and of course, if they're promoted, the celebrities are promoting themselves, CNN is getting promoted as well. And of course, when you sign up, you decide your Twitter handle if it's not already taking. Um, for instance, you notice my Twitter handle is Jeffrey Arnott. Nobody calls me Jeffrey except for my mother, um, who's probably on here listening right now. Um, but it's uh, Jeff Arnott is just not available. Um, so that's the reason why I had to be a little more creative when creating my own. When we created Brevard Adult Ed, there was no other Brevard Adult Eds out there. So uh, that was one that I was able to uh, pick up. Here's an example of a, a simple tweet. At Ford, your new Mustang, hashtag Mustang is real fast. Mustang, Mustang Monday. And I'll explain what those hashtags mean here in a few minutes. But if you notice at the beginning, it's at Ford. We're addressing this tweet to Ford Motor Company, and that is their Twitter handle. Here's another one, um, at Eddie Van Halen. When are you coming out with a new record? Um, hashtag Van Halen. Of course, I'm asking Eddie Van Halen himself directly when they're coming out with a new record, and can we only hope that would ever happen? Okay, what is a hashtag? You saw these two hashtags here, hashtag Monday, Mustang, hashtag Monday. Hashtag Mustang and hashtag Van Halen. Well, let's look and see what a hashtag is. A hashtag is a label for content. It helps others who are interested in a certain topic quickly find content on that topic. So if you're in a tweet and you see this one, let's go back to it again. Van Halen, and you'll notice that it's 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 a little different color when we go onto Facebook. I mean, onto Twitter. You click that, and then you'll see all the conversations that everybody is having with Van Halen throughout the world. Um, and that's uh, and that's what it's there for. It's to link conversation and like interest with everybody else in the world when sending this tweet. And maybe somebody will follow you back because you have the same interest as um, as other people in that thing. Alrighty, hashtags are mostly um, are most are used mostly on social media sites. They were started with Twitter, of course, and of course Twitter is what they're most famous for. But you can now use hashtags on all social media platforms, pretty much, including Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and Google Plus. So it's one of those things that's kind of spread out there a little bit. Also, here's some examples of um, some hashtags that um, that are very familiar with me and um, is um, a hashtag adult ed. It, it, notice it's edu. That's the commonly used hashtag. And if you go on to any of adult ed social media page, you might see that hashtag out there. So if you click it, you'll kind of see what other uh, what other adult education providers are doing throughout the United States. Um, Go Gators, of course, that's very personal to me. I think most people know that, but that is the official hashtag of the University of Florida Athletic Department. Brevard Best, that's our personal hashtag here for our Brevard adult education and community ed programs we have here, and our Brevard after school program actually uses that, and it's very fun to go in there and click it so you can see other 
students actually using that and engaging in conversations about your brand, which is our brand, Revolve.ed. And of course, uh, Ms. Rowell and I talked yesterday about what kind of hashtag should we have for IP Day? So it's very simple, hashtag IP Day. So when we're talking about IP Day, and this is an important takeaway, and you're at an event where um, at an IP Day event or on, online with IP Day and you saw a wonderful webinar, you could put that hashtag at the end on all social media sites and you can, can see what other people are talking about, um, all the wonderful things that are going on um, with, um, with IP Day. Sometimes they appear to express their sentiment toward an event like the Super Bowl or a major event. If it's a major tragic event, um, for instance, the, uh, the, the events that happened in Orlando a few months back, you saw a lot of hashtags like Orlando Strong that was kind of created organically and then it started a whole conversation from us the people, not necessarily from uh, from a corporation. Then, of course, I put Super Bowl 50 up here. Um, Super Bowl, the Super Bowl, the NFL themselves probably came up with that hashtag to really build up the excitement toward a special event. Um, so you'll see hashtags a lot on different uh, on different uh, uh, different events that are going on on television, like the Emmys or the Academy Awards. They will use hashtags to keep that conversation going. And they were often used to promote a business or an event. I went to a place in Los Angeles called Bruno Pizza, which was such fantastic pizza. So I just put that one up there to see what other people were talking about when it comes to Bruno Pizza. Um, some of the most active hashtags are actually hashtags that were created by people the businesses don't even know about. So if you put in any business or any small company that you might you know, engage with, you put that hashtag in the search bar, which we will sh I'll show here in a few minutes, and you'll see... Uh, You'll see what people are thinking about that particular brand. What is a retweet? When a message begins with the Twitter symbol RT, which you'll see built in some tweets, that indicates that the person is passing on someone else's message because they thought it was worth repeating. Myself, I'll retweet stuff from IP Day on our Brevard Adult Ed site or my personal Twitter page because it's um, some great stuff going on. So I'll send that message out. And when I retweet it, all of my followers are actually reading that message as well. So um, if you are passionate about a brand, a rock star, or um, a politician, and you retweet their stuff, you're basically creating an audience and building, you know, creating reach for that, for that, for that particular product or individual. Repeating a tweet is shortened to retweet. That's where the uh, definition came from and represented by RT, followed by a username of the person who wrote the original message. And that's, I'll kind of show you how it is. So retweets are kind of shown on, um, on Twitter in two different ways. Oops. Here's a couple of people, and we will, um, I will, of course, um, we will have this um, on the IP Day site. These are some popular um, um, Twitter handles that I found throughout the state um, that I think are, uh, that could, you know, once you build your page, that you could look, um, especially if you're an adult education director really wanting to build your Twitter presence. Um, you know, we got IP Day, of course, um, we want to definitely follow them, and Ace of Florida, our advocacy group, want to follow them. But I found that Brevard Adult Ed, Ace, um, Ace of Palm Beach County, and Leon counties have to have three very um, active uh, Twitter pages, and I would I recommend everybody follow those three um, to get some ideas on, um, and they're uniquely a little different, but um, but a lot of good sharing and a lot of success stories are on those three particular Twitter pages. And if there is others out there that people uh, that I don't know about, please send them my way. I'll definitely promote your Twitter page. It's all about sharing around here. Career Source Florida, as we get into the age of WIOA, I think that one's an important one to follow. And also your local Career Source boards have Twitter handles as well. Uh, I think ours is Career Source Brevard. We follow them, and a lot of times they follow you right back. Um, so that's an important one. The Florida Department of Education will follow you back if you ask them kindly. Um, and that's at Education Florida. Um, Florida Literacy, that's um, Greg Smith's group. Um, Florida ASCD, which I know it's a K-12 type of uh, thing, but there's some great resources on there. And of course, I threw my own out there. That's not self-promoting, I promise. Um, but um, you can kind of uh, see from a average Joe's point of view of what a Twitter page looks like from, uh, from that angle. 
popular hot hashtags in education. These are ones that are very engaging that I find um, to have a lot of good information on it, even from a K-12 perspective or from the adult education perspective. Um, ed Chat seems to be one of the more popular in Ed Tech. Um, if you click on one of those hashtags on the stuff, you will find some great resources, not only for your classroom, for your program. You'll find it, um, you know, you know, what special things other programs are doing throughout the state. I know I, um, you know, Miss Holder, our Teacher of the Year, I put up a tweet on that, which I'll show you, and I put on their hashtag Teacher of the Year. And there's even some great inspiring stories on there when you really start uh, clicking on uh, those. So if you, if you have a bad day and you want to feel good, go to Twitter and uh, click on some of these, uh, on some of these uh, hashtags. Um, there's even some other ones I found, if you notice, you go halfway down the uh, page here, we got one on CP chat. That's for like leaders, for um, directors and, and principals. Uh, I found that one always to be pretty good. And of course, new teachers, the NT chat's a good one. Uh, mobile learning, um, you go right down the list. I got it down by subject area. Of course, STEM, that's a popular one. A uh, COAVE has a um, um, a hashtag as well. It's worth noting, which they'll be promoting when they come to Florida. Adult edu. It's adult EDU matters, which is a, a, a great one. In fact, I'm going to Washington uh, next week with CoAbe, and um, they've asked me to do some live tweeting. So, uh, so pay attention with that because that'll be me behind that uh, particular phone. Um, and then, of course, IPDAY has their own, um, which we created here this week. And then, of course, Ace of Florida had one for their 25th anniversary this uh, past year. Okay, well, let's do a little bit of exploring of Twitter. Let's show you a little bit of um, what it's about. Excuse me here why I change. Uh, move around. This right here is my personal Twitter page, and this is what it looks like from a, uh, from a computer screen, which it will look completely different on your cell phone. And I know I've talked to Ms. Rawl that um, in a later uh, session, I, um, I may come back on to IPDAY and show you how to use the phone a little bit um, uh, with, because it has some, um, actually some extra features on it. But anyway, I'll just scroll through here. Um, we'll start up here with the top. Up here's the home button. Anytime you're surfing around and you want to come back to it, you just click that. It 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 takes you back to this. Um, takes you to this look right here, which is basically your feed right here. But let me just go back to the to the regular home page. Which if you click that little or just click this, your name. You'll notice that everything is really hyperlinked throughout the um, the whole site as well. Moments. This one's um, pretty cool. You click on this. This is actually kind of like the news. What's happening in Twitter? What's trending? And this is very intuitive as well. Not only does it have live feeds itself, it'll also maybe pop up some stuff that you may be interested in as well, just based on what you've been tweeting or what you've been following. Um, you know, I follow a little bit what's on the news here. Um, Oh, there's some probably some stuff in here about University of Florida football because I follow that. Um, but this is kind of a lot of stuff that's happening in the news itself. And even up here, it's uh, it's even breaks it down a little bit more like the election that's top in the news. There's going to be some stuff on here uh, about our candidates running for president. The NFL, the reason why the NFL is on there, and we will talk about that later, the NFL now streams live through Twitter. So if you're somewhere away from the house and you're at the mall shopping and you need to check out the score on Thursday night, and you can actually go onto Twitter through this moments thing, and you can actually watch the football game live on Twitter on Thursday nights. And um, trust me when I say it, it comes crystal clear in HD, and it looks really, really good. Twitter did, a, I think, a knock-up job with that, uh, with that uh, partnership. Um, news, of course, sports, entertainment, and just some um, flat-out nonsense here, a little bit of fun. So it'll talk, uh, you know, so there's all kinds of uh, great things on here that you'll find um, in the, uh, in the, uh, oh, excuse me, that you'll find in the, uh, that you'll find in the feed itself. Okay, let's go back up here. And notifications, this is when somebody maybe likes one of your tweets or you got a new follower or something like that. Um, like right here, uh, Mr. Sellers, who's probably online watching this, and I highly appreciate this. Um, he is actually learning new skills. Thanks, uh, thanks for the webinar. And guess what? I like that so much, I'm going to retweet it. Um, I'm going to say thank you. So I'm actually now engaging with this individual, with uh, Mr. Sellers here. 
and it actually will go on to my feed. So that was a nice little bonus. Thank you, uh, Mr. Sellers. Uh, so as you can see here, when somebody new has liked me, my, my, my buddy Lance C right here, he's always well, telling me this is a waste of a tweet here because I tweeted something about Tim Tebow. But, you know, there's a little bit of trash talk on here too. But um, that is um, how, um, you know, uh, Twitter works. Like Dave Berman, he's actually a uh, news reporter for the Florida Today. He's actually now following me on Twitter. Don't know if that's good or bad, but he's following me. Um, so that gives you a little bit about what this is about. Over here, trends. Do you see that? These are things that people are talking about right now, and most of these are hashtags that may have been organically um, created. Like uh, Don King, you know, there's some stuff about him. There's 48, 68,000 tweets going on about him right now. So if you really want to learn about some of these things, just click on Don King and it'll bring up a lot of tweets about Don King. Uh, he's saying some stuff on there we probably shouldn't have on here. Um, but you know that's uh, but you know that's you know kind of how that hashtag works, and it's all over the place. They they want you to kind of explore around a little bit on on the home page. Um, over here, um, you say who to follow. A lot of these um, things come up here because you. Um, maybe have interest in something of some individuals that you may follow yourself. So that's the reason why these come up. I know we just had a new partnership with, um, with an electric company in Daytona Beach who's going to work with us uh, because they're opening up some offices in Brevard County. So I followed their Twitter page, which is why this construction company is now uh, probably showing up on my feed to follow them, you know, to follow something that I might have an interest in. Now this right here is your uh, feed. Um, this right here are basically, these are people that I'm following and they're actually putting up a tweet. And when they do that, I can read them here like Amanda Carpenter. Um, and this guy here, you know, Becky Yolan has actually retweeted um, this particular tweet here about weird medical conditions that might exist. Here's the promoted one that I was talking about. Um, right here, Twitter for business. They're actually wanting to advertise. So they, some, they advertise within your feed in order to make money. Of course, you can dismiss it. And the reason when you dismiss it, I mean, you probably won't get any more tweets from that that individual, uh, you know, company, Twitter for business. Um, you know, Bleacher Report I follow, so I get some stuff here. And that question comes up a lot. Um, do I have to read stuff on Kim Kardashian and Katy Perry? The answer to that is no, unless you follow them. If you're not following, you don't have to worry about their uh, their their Twitter feeds coming through on your homepage. And of course, here's uh, me retweeting uh, Mr. Sellers' uh, tweet that he just put up there a few seconds ago. So that is the uh, main part of the stuff. Now, let me go over to the home page one more time, to my personal page. And right here in this feed are actually um, things that I have tweeted out or retweeted myself. Um, like Ipday here, I put out a tweet yesterday, says check out the Ipday webinar with me. And I put it out on the IP Day site, and of course I retweeted itself. Danny Brazel, who's a friend of our program, who came spoke at our um, at our um, at our uh, Innovations and Transformation Summit, and I follow him, and I retweet stuff on him, and he follows us all the time. A good friend of mine, Dr. Jar in Orange County, you know, hanging out at basketball, I thought it was a good story, so I I retweeted it. I said, well, okay, Dr. Jar, I think this is pretty cool. I'll do that. Now this one here with the little heart on it is called likes, kind of like a Facebook like. You just like it if you like it. Like this one here, oh, well, you don't want to like yourself. Um, but um, if you like something, you can always go in and like it. I, I like a lot of stuff, as you can see. Here, Giles Electric, I like this, from Brevard Adult Ed. That's the company I told you about that we followed that we're you know having a partnership with. And I put a little bit of news out there on Twitter on some of the stuff that's coming. Um, and um, all kinds of stuff. So there you go. And these are the things I'm passionate about. Like I'm a member of the, I'm the, uh, on the board of directors for the Boys and Curls Club. So I retweet their stuff all the time. Um, you know, just fun, fun things. And occasionally I'll put up some stuff on, uh, you know, here, my, my, one of my good friends, Rashad Wilson for Principal of the Year. So you can see these are things I, I really enjoy wanting to spread the news to people about, you know, what I like. Now up here, um, these are followers, um, following and followers. These are people that I follow if you collect, um, click on this particular one right here. These are people that I follow for one reason or another, um, like the Los Angeles um, School District. I like to see what they're up to. Um, some reporters around, uh, Bonnie, who's um, on here all the time. I highly recommend you follow Bonnie on Twitter. Um, you know, Broward College has a, a nice little Twitter page. I forgot about them. Um, you know, just um, some people who may give some news or, you know, that'll come up on my news, my news feed that I might find interesting to myself. Um, 
Yeah, you can see most of these are educational. Um, you know, Tammy, there we go, following her. Buffalo Wild Wings, who's a buff, who's a business partner with Brevard Adult Ed. And one thing I do too, um, there's a good little tr um, trick for the uh, for the directors out there. Before I go into a contract with any company, I make them follow our Twitter page. I tell them I'll follow them back, but I want them to um, find you know keep a keep abreast what we're doing as well. Um, my AG, Miss uh, Zelda Rogers, she's um, now on uh, on uh, Twitter. So like I said, just um, and of course you choose who you want to follow. You don't have to follow anybody for that matter. And it is real easy to unfollow people as well. It's just like this simple. Um, I will like them back, but all you have to do is just hit that and you're no longer following. But I do like our friends at Barnes and Nobles, so I will um, go ahead and like them back. Okay, these are people who are following my personal page, and you can always go in there and see who's following you. I created that fake page there earlier, um, so that kind of gives you an idea. And then, of course, the likes. These are paid. These are things that I've liked um, ever since I've been on Twitter. I've liked things 789 times, um, as you can see there. Now, the list, I will um, go into that on Twitter 2.0, but this is how you can create, uh, you know, you can create like things and then group them all together. Um, for instance, like adult edu uh, education influence, I was invited into that group by uh, Prep Path, I believe, and, it, and you open it up, and there's actually some, uh, you know, some pretty much very much like interest from directors and adult educators from uh, from uh, around the uh, the uh, country itself. So I really like uh, this one. And there's 273 uh, members um, in that one. Okay, let me go back to the home page. Like I said, it's real easy to do. Or I want to go to the home page. That is your, um, this is your personal page here. Let me get back to it. And of course you can always edit your profile by here. This is where you change your, uh, your, um, everything. Okay. Now how do you search for somebody? Um, let's say that I have an interest in, um, let me say, let me do a hashtag. Um, this right here, you can actually in this little search bar, and this is a very, um, um uh, this is a, a good reference here. There's several things you can do. You can actually check it at, um, um, a hashtag. Let's do that. Let's look at IP Day. Let's see what people are hashtagging about IP Day. Okay. So anything that has the hashtag IP Day in it, it pops up here. You can see it. It's up. Come, well, it's not coming up really well. I apologize for that. Let's do Brevard Best. Okay, and so when I put in the hashtag Brevard Best, it'll bring up the top ones, the live ones, which are basically all of them. We'll go to that one. The top ones will probably be more the most engaging ones. And uh, right here, I just uh, made an announcement that Ms. Brower was um, one of our folks, was the um, employee of the year for Brevard Adult Ed, so I put Brevard uh, Best on it. Mr. Adams, one of our teachers, was talking about how wonderful our in-service was. Um, I am getting a low, slow, low, being slow. Um, here we go. Here we go. So we do um, have, um, for instance, Miss Brower. She was our uh, employee of the year, so we put a picture of her up there. And Miss Rojas was our part-time teacher of the year, so we did that. And best behind it. So it allows you to click on that. You can see what everybody is seeing about Brevard Adult Education. And I highly recommend that for the directors and um, other administrators out there. Come up with a unique hashtag for your department and it will make a, uh, like I said, you can actually uh, see what's going on. Mr. Adams here, he actually put the hashtag ESOL on here. So if you click this on, you'll see what people are talking about when it comes to ESOL itself. Um, he said, we have, oh, there's our new commercial we were filming. So, you know, like I said, we occasionally you'll get something you have no idea what they're talking about, like some radio station in Nashville. Um, but, you know, we have our Brevard After School program, um, that or After School, pro, yeah, Brevard After School program, and they, they use that hashtag as well. And, uh, of course, we use it to promote, like this was a promoted tweet that we had, um, you know, telling everyone about our uh, classes start Monday um, with, that, with that young lady there. 
So as you can see, um, there's actually um, some students. I know there was a couple students in here that actually made some tweets, which was uh, very, um, very engaging. So I highly recommend that. So uh, please use that hashtag. Okay, let's say you're searching for, um, you, you're looking on television, you see a hashtag that really, uh, I mean, uh, um, something that you really want to follow, you see an at symbol. So we'll put on here at um, Brevard Public, or at Ace of Florida right here. So we just search that at Ace of Florida. Oh. Oh, we're not freezing up. Okay. Um, at Ace of Florida, it'll bring up their page. In most cases, I'm already following Ace of Florida. In most cases, it'll say, um, it'll say follow right here. So all you have to do is press that button and you can start following Ace of Florida. There's a good example. It'll look something like this, like Twitter. In fact, I'm not following Twitter. I believe I will go ahead and follow Twitter. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea. And then you can also see what Ace of Florida has actually been, uh, has been actually been tweeting out, um, you know, maybe some stuff from the legislature, stuff from here from links. That's always an important one to follow as well. The Department of Education, Ed Week, um, you know, just news from the advocacy uh, point of view. And it kind of shows you how many followers and followers I have there. Once again, I recommend that you follow that page. And how do you send a tweet? That's always another popular uh, question that comes up right here. See that little button there? Tweet. That's all you have to do to open it up. And let's go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna tweet June Raw. There it is. At June Raw. This is a great webinar. Thanks for letting me host. And then I'll hashtag it Ip Day. So right there in that tweet, I have um, like I said, I've, I've told June that I, um, I'm, ha I've, I'm, I'm, I'm actually sending this tweet to her, but everyone else in the world can read it because it's going to be on my Twitter page, and I'll show you that. This is a great seminar. Thanks for uh, or thank webinar. Thanks for hosting it. It's that simple. I send the tweet out. Okay, it's been tweeted. So I go to my home page, or my, and then hit Jeffrey Arnott. And by the way, you can go to this too, and it'll take you right back to your page as well. And there it is. That should come up. It looks like we are having some internet problems here. Jeff, while you're doing that, yes. would you like to take a question? Sure, I'll take a question. Let me check them out here. Does anything happen when you uh, um, like something? Now, what it happens is the person who actually, when you send a like, the person that 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 picture you liked, the person who put the picture up, will see that up here in the notifications is what will happen. So when somebody likes a picture or something in that, it'll be up here on this thing. It'll actually say, uh, um, oh here, like here. Once you put SCO knows, I don't like that part, but I'll put this here, like. So, um, Mirtha uh, Martinez here will actually get something back in her notifications that says that um, she, um, you know, that she, uh, that I like that tweet and everything else. In fact, I can even retweet it here once again. I'll retweet it um, and um, so forth like that. And here, Todd, who actually works for me, Todd Fraschino, will go ahead and retweet this too. Um, so yes, yeah, so Todd will be getting a notification that I did like that tweet. And also it'll show up on the, when you tweet as well, it'll actually, when you look on your homepage, you'll see it on there too. If this thing is okay, there it is. See it right there. It'll show up. So the whole world can see that, that somebody liked the tweet itself. And let's say there's like more than one, um, like on there. You can actually just, um, let me find one here like this one right here. You can just open up the page. Hit, open the tweet and then you can just click on this. Whoops, I do like it. All you have to do is just, oops. It's actually better on the mobile thing. You can actually um, click on it on the mobile thing and it'll actually show you who likes that, who else likes that particular uh, tweet itself. Oh, right here, you can do it right here. And there, you can see right here who actually liked that particular tweet with Danny Braswell in it, like the 186th Street School, which I believe is in Los Angeles. Um, that's all you have to do. And you can see who retweeted it as well. 
Jeff, you have another question coming in. Sure, what's that question? Can you an unwanted tweet? Yes, you can. Yes, let's see if a tweet comes through and you don't like it. Um, uh, let me find one here. It's real simple. Right here. There's several ways to do it. See these little three dot, dot, dots right here. You can block them. So you can actually block that tweet. You can report that tweet. You can mute it. And what means by mute? If there's somebody that you really like to follow, like Mark Long here, who doesn't, He's, but let's say Mark's sending out a tweet every 15 seconds. You just had enough of his tweets. All you, but you still like Mark and you want to follow Mark. All you have to do is hit that mute button. And then basically that conversation is muted. So there's, or the, uh, or his, his uh, tweets are muted. You never have to see him again unless you go on here and unmute him is all you have to do. Um, and, um, and of course, Mark here will not know that I muted him. They do not know that. So that's, uh, that's something to uh, note as well. Also, since we're up on this bar here, is um, and blocking it, there is a way to delete it. Um, if you send a tweet out, let's say, that's where you block it and it just goes away. Or if you want to block a user, let's say somebody's following you and you just think they're ridiculous and you just no longer, not only you no longer want to follow them, you just want to uh, delete them altogether. Um, let me find somebody here. I'm like, Jill, I have no idea who Jill is, but let's open this up. This right here, you can block them, you can report them, you can mute them, you can do all that stuff, or you can just simply unfollow them if you just uh, just had enough. Or sometimes unfollowing is okay if there was a Twitter um, event going on, like there was a special event like Super Bowl 50. Well, after Super Bowl 50 is over, there's probably not going to be many more tweets about it, so you just go ahead and unfollow it because it's taken up space, I guess. Um, also messages. If you want to message somebody directly, um, for instance, like uh, Lou's Barbershop here, which followed me and they asked me how my hair was, um, you can actually have a conversation with somebody directly. I'll do it with uh, Todd. Let's see here. As I know Todd's online, I'll say... Um, I want to send a message directly to him. And when I send a message directly to him, it goes to nobody else but Todd. Um, and that's all I have to do. So, um, and then of course you just send it down here at the bottom. I can say, Hey, um, and then just send it like that. And that's all you have to do. Um, so, and of course I know, um, uh, Todd knows I don't like selfie sticks too much. So he, uh, sent me this, uh, picture not too long ago, a guy having a MacBook on a selfie stick. So, um, so that's, uh, so that's, if you want to take the conversation private, that's where you can do it through the message uh, feature itself on Facebook. I mean, on Twitter. And over here, this is kind of like some personal information that you put up. And of course, you put this up there, um, whatever you want to. And you are limited to that space, too. I think you can only use like 150 characters even on your description. And of course, where you're from. And I always put the uh, the Adult Ed Facebook page up there. And I guess my birthday is public, so you guys know how old I am. And over here, some other suggestions of people to follow as well. So these things here, you can uh, view all. You can delete them if you don't care about RT. You can just hit that. Boop, they go away. And then you'll get some other people that you can potentially follow and of course these trends they keep um, they keep them up there quite a bit and everything and can you change your profile pic in this thing up here absolutely all you have to do is just hit this edit profile and then you can change your picture anytime you want of course I'll leave an Albert up there I like him okay and let's see if we got another question here June okay cool thank you Alrighty, now let's create a page. Let's show everyone how easy it is to create a Twitter page. And if you want to follow along, I will go slow so you can go step by step. Um, let me log out here. And I'm going to create a brand new page. And basically, this is what happens. When you go to, basically, you just go to twitter.com. That's what you'll go to. And it'll take you to a page that looks like this or maybe something a little bit different. Um, of course, you can always log in if you have a Twitter account. Um, but up here it is. It's just pretty simple. You just hit sign up. And, uh, and I'll kind of show you how it is. I'll put my name up here. I'll put in Jeffrey. I'll put my full name in on this one. And that's all you have to put on there. And you can use your phone or email. Um, I had to... I've used all my email addresses, so I had to create a new one real quick. So, okay. And of course, you pre create a password um, that you 
you know, that you'll remember that's easy to use and all that kind of stuff. It is, um, and it's not one of those, you have to have 14 different capital letters and everything else. It's pretty straightforward. And um, here it is, Taylor Twitter based on recent website visits. So if you want to kind of, you know, um, you can actually do that and it'll kind of, uh, you know, give you some suggestions on people to follow. I will go ahead and mark that. And basically I hit sign up, it's creating my account. Now it will ask me to enter my phone number and I will. And my phone number is pretty public anyway, so there you go. And I'll put it on there and they will send me a verification code, which they just did, that I'll put in here. So that's simple, it verifies it. And now you choose a username. Now I'm thinking like, what can I use here? So, and it's actually giving me some suggestions that I can use already. For instance, if I wanna to try to put in Jeffrey Arnott, going to tell me that name is already taken. So I can't use that because that's my other one. Ooh, uh, I thought I said uh, Vegas Jeff. I said, I can't well, use that one. Taco Jeff Arno. Okay. It gives you all kinds of uh, suggestions, but I think I'll just go with my full, um, let me go with JC Arnott. Let's see if that is. That's my first and last initial. Oh, that one's already taken. A lot of Arnott's out there, surprisingly. I love the Gators. Oh, already taken. But anyway, I'll just use one of their suggestions um, right here, uh, which is I love, let's see here. This one right here. Let me write that down so I don't forget it. Okay. And then all you have to do is do this. Next. And there you go. We are glad you are here. So it's pretty straightforward from this time. It's gonna help you build this page. Here to let's go. Let's find out what they have. And here you can kind of hit what you're interested in. If you like sports, which I do, let me look at some of the sports teams I like to follow. Well, the NFL, of course, I'll follow them. Um, let me see here. Uh, oh, wrestling. Let me follow that one. Um, sports commentary. Oh, college football, of course. Um, and, and that covers all those. Then you can um, expand news out, anything you want to follow in the news. Sometimes that depresses me, so I think I'll just pass all that. Um, music. I love a little bit of, uh, oh, let me find it here, a little bit of uh, alternative rock. I'll hit that one. Um, then you can check all, all entertainment, and you can see celebrity news, TV stars, um, digital creators, and of course they are going to um, try to give you some, some suggestions of people to follow based on this. Um, they go with some industry news and uh, art and culture. Um, uh, let's, let's look at some literature, even though I'm not really into literature. Um, Government and politics. We'll look at the United States cabinet. So this right here will start giving you some suggestions based on this. And down here, if you're looking for even more, let me put in Gator football. And let's see what comes up. So I just hit that. And it'll actually look for some stuff that follows um, Gator football as well. So now all you have to do is hit the continue button. It's this simple. And if you want to, I'm not going to do this, but you can actually check your Outlook, which most school districts have, and also Gmail to see if anybody that you know, some friends from your email, may also be on Twitter that you can follow as well. Um, so you can say no thanks or you can import those contacts. The only reason I'm saying no thanks is because it does take a little time. Okay, now it's starting to give you some suggestions of people that you may want to follow. Um, AJ Mendez books, okay. You can select them all or just uncheck them all, and then you can go through and just check them accordingly. I think I'll follow her. Um, see here. Um, I'll follow Daniel here. He seems like he's a pretty nice guy. Um, here's some more wrestlers. I'll follow Hulk Hogan. Um, and of course, here's from the United States cabinet. If I want to follow any of these people, um, let me follow the United States Department of Education since that's very relevant to, uh, I like to travel, so I'll check the Department of State. Um, so yeah, just go right down the uh, list here. Um, and of course, oh, here we go, sports commentary. Oh, Sports Center, can't, oh, Tim Tebow, absolutely. Um, Bleacher Report, so I'm gonna check all these. Uh, oh, Scott Van Pelt, oh, very, very good. Oh, Shaq, love Shaq. Oh, Mike and Mike. Um, so you can go right through here and follow whoever you want. Oh, Michael Wilson, one of my favorites. 
Um, and then of course we're all alternative. I want to follow Depeche Mode. Um, I love Depeche Mode. Oh, the killers out of Vegas, Green Day. Um, so yeah, you just go right down the list and follow those folks you like. Um, I'll follow all the NFL players. Why not? And then of course, literature yeah, I'll follow all them as well. So now I'm already starting to follow people that interest or that, that I, you know, things that I find that are important and relative, I'm relative the Academy Awards. Um, this year, like the Academy Awards, um, iTunes trailers. Shoot, that sounds pretty fun. Um, you know, right down the list. And of course, college football, Urban Meyer, definitely not following him. Uh, Butch Jones, no way. Coach Harbaugh, um, Lane Kiffin, no way. Um, Notre Dame football, no, no, no. Tennessee football, how, how is this stuff even getting into my feed? Um, but, you know, that's because I was there searching about the game this weekend, the Florida-Tennessee game. And, of course, I'll follow all of our local news media uh, around town and Jimmy Fallon. Who doesn't like Jimmy Fallon? And then I'm already following 51 people, and then I continue. There you go. Something went wrong. That's not good. That is not good. Hold on. Okay, let me follow all 89 and see what happens. Well, something's not here. But what will happen is it'll actually come to a page um, that'll take you to something like this. And definitely just email or call me. I'll be more than happy to help you out with this. Um, it'll come. Um, maybe this is what I need to do. Yeah, you'll get an email that you have to confirm the account. Sorry for the audible there. And that's exactly what happened. So it did get to, I had to verify the email first, so I apologize there. Um, so there it is. So now I've got um, this, I have an egg. Um, one thing please do when you create a page is go ahead and put a photo up as quickly as you can, which I am going to do right now. I'm going to upload a photo, which I've already have right here from my trip to Moscow not too long ago. One of my very few selfies I've ever taken right here in front of a, right in the, right in the Kremlin. Um, so I've stuck that up there. And of course here you can introduce yourself as well and saying like, I love adult ed. Brevard County is awesome. So I can put that down there, introducing myself a little bit. And then, of course, you add your birthday. If you want to skip it, you can. In location, you can skip that as well. But there, you're kind of 100% ready to go. So you can put a little, you know, a little bit about yourself there as well. Um, I have 95 people follow. I'm following 49 different people. And I am good to go. Now all I have to do is just um, go to my page here. And of course, I can add a photo up here as well. I can add a header photo, which I have up here. I found a nice University of Florida one. And there we go. How about that? Isn't that nice? It's that simple. And of course, you can, uh, you know, do what you need to do. And for some reason, this is not, picture is not coming out. Let me try this again. Okay. should come up. Okay, it even tells you when you joined. Um, and right here, this right here is how you can choose your first tweet or you can just do your own. Um, for instance, I think I'll put on here, hello Twitter, my first tweet. And it's that simple. You just send a tweet out like that. It's that simple. And if you wanna send some other tweets out, you just put on here, I'll put on here at Todd. Oh, Todd's not coming up. I am new to Twitter. So that'll actually go to the IP Day uh, page. So I actually sent out another tweet as well. And if I still want to try to follow people, then of course you can tell people that you're now on Twitter and just, and all you have to do is just give them this, e this address here. So if you, um, and this is your Twitter handle here, mine right here. It's like, 
I love the Gators. Um, that is um, this Twitter handle I have for this particular uh, page right here. So it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, pretty easy to use, and I definitely highly recommend that you go in and uh, and do this every day just to uh, stay engaged with Twitter. And I think that's the key to keep going over and over and over again to make it a uh, a great great page. And um, and once again, let me put these uh, Twitter handles up if you want to take a screenshot of it, so you can go in and follow some of them, some of these. Uh, great uh, Twitter pages that are out there to get some ideas as you create your own Twitter page for business or whatever like that. Anyway, just got to, let me just put these up right here. And like I said, these I think are important ones um, that I think that you can learn a lot about adult education within our own state as you create your own page, get some ideas, you know, see pictures of success stories of kids graduating or adults graduating, um, see those events going on in the ESOL rooms and get some ideas on how to promote your program. I, I think you'll really, really like it. And when we get to 2.0, of course, um, we'll start talking about how you can promote your Twitter page and how you can uh, market your programs through Twitter. Um, those are, or even Facebook or any other um, social media outlets. Um, but I think this is a great way for, uh, you know, IP Day to really promote what they're doing live. Okay, a couple other fun things, and I'm going to do one last fun thing before uh, we go. Is I want to kind of show you here um, some of the most. These are the most followed Twitter pages in the in the United throughout the world. And I know you look at them and they're Katy Perry, Justin Bieber. I didn't think anybody followed him, but 88 million do. Taylor Swift, our president. As you can see, three rock stars are actually above our president of the United States. And then you go right down the list. You have more rock stars that are following. But I think this is an important slide to notice. Is I, mean, I think I even rolled my eyes when I saw this. But you can see who Twitter is marketing to. Millennials clearly. Millennials. Um, in fact, some of the, the two people running for president, Trump and Clinton, they only have about 10 million followers. So as you could see um, where um, where the power of Twitter is at. These are students in their 20s. Um, so I think it's important to note that as well. In fact, this is a nice little website here too, Twitterholic, that will actually show you um, a, a daily basis of who the most followed people are um, in um, in the uh, in the world and you can actually put in your own Twitter handle and find out where you rank throughout the world. I think it Brevard adult it is like 22,000th or something. It's not too, it's not too bad. Okay. Let me, sh no, please don't freeze. Okay. Okay. Sorry for the technical problems here. Please be nice. This is my first webinar. Okay, here's some updates that Twitter has going on itself right now that's really cool. I've already talked about the second one. The NFL now broadcasts Thursday night on Twitter. You can create polls on Twitter, and you can also add GIFs on Twitter as well. Um, and, of course, these are some of the previews that we'll talk about in the uh, – and uh, in Twitter 2.0 coming on a little bit later this uh, this uh, this uh, year, but I want to show you something that's really fun: live streaming tools. This is Periscope, which you have to do this from your phone. I still got about eight minutes, so uh, we'll, I'll cut you loose here in a couple seconds. But I want to show you this wonderful, wonderful tool here, real quick. This is actually live streaming of uh, of um, of Twitter. I have to get it set up here. Okay, so let me go to back to my Twitter page.
Okay. And I am going to do something fun here that should be popping up in a second. You're going to see a live stream from my office. Oops, okay. It should be popping up here any second. Let me see if I can find it here. There it is. It's coming right now. So I'll do a little walk around in my office in a second. Hold on. And if you're on, on the screen, you should see it coming. There it is. So, so a little bit of my office, see two people on, that's nice. So it's a little bit of a tour of me. And, uh, and I just wanted to thank everybody for uh, being on here today. So uh, Ms. Rawl, if you want to close it out, I'll be more than happy to you know, answer any more questions if there's any more out there. Jeff, thank you so much. That was so information. It was really great information. I'm still in here jabbered, it looks like, on the Twitter page. So anyway, okay. All right. It looks like, um, it looks like we don't have any other further questions. And so I want to thank everybody uh, for joining the webinar today. And Jeff, a special thanks to you. This was really great. And let me put my contact information up there again in case anybody has any questions. Um, they, can, um, they can definitely just uh, drop me uh, – Drop me an email um, at my personal email address. You can tweet me, and there's my cell phone number. I do not, I seriously do not care if anybody calls me. So, um, for any reason to help on this, I'm so passionate about this, and I think this is what we need in adult education. I'll be more than happy to help you out. So, anyway, that's all I have, June. I'm humbled, and I apologize again for the technical uh, difficulty and the nervousness because this was my first live one by myself. So, Jeff? Yes, ma'am. One last question. Sure. When is the next Twitter webinar? Why would you tell me, June? When is it? <laughs> okay, so check the If Day website and we'll get uh, Jeff's 2.0 Twitter up, uh, webinar up really soon, Wendy. So thanks for the question. Yeah. And thank you for supporting If Day. Yes, definitely. Also, one more thing. I know June wanted me to show you this. On the If Day's website, this is how you can find their Twitter page as well. Um, it's right here at the bottom. If you just scroll right down to the bottom, you'll see the link to the uh, If Day Twitter page and their YouTube channel as well. So uh, definitely follow Twitter. It's uh, one of my, my favorite places to go. And that's it, June. Okay, thank you again. Have a great afternoon. Okay, thanks.